Aubrey. All right, Aubrey's back. Aubrey's back. We thought he would be back when he apparently dropped. Well, not apparently. They announced it for fall. We'll see exactly when the fuck it comes out. I'm thinking October. Probably going to come out around October. But anyways, um, Drake's back. He dropped another three pack. You could say 100 gigs for your head top two. He dropped another three pack. Um, what was it? No face. Or no case, whatever the fuck that song was called. No face or no case or whatever the fuck it was called. He dropped that. He dropped um the language too, like circadian rhythm or something. It was called something like that. Circadian rhythm, the face, the language too. And then he dropped um SOD, Super Soak, goodness gracious, whatever you call it. The the snippet we heard on the Kai Snat stream. He finally dropped that, but in this one there's no little yachty on that. It's just him, so we'll see. Probably one of my again. I, I was waiting for the official version. I'm not mad at. I personally would have kept Yachty on the song, but hey, it was what it was. <clears throat> so let's get go into it. Now I heard all three songs before I read a little article and talk about it. Of course, everybody's gonna talk about No Face, No Case, whatever the fuck the song's called, because he was. I mean, he was kind of going at niggas as well on circadian rhythm because kendrick said something about circadian rhythm on like 6 16 in la so that one has like a few light jobs where he was more like harmonizing of course like super soak is just just a smooth track not really dissing niggas but like more of the no face song or no case whatever the fuck it's called but like yeah that song he was really going at people and he, everybody against him everybody that's been taking shots against him that's where he basically letting it rip he didn't really call out names but him saying that you kind of know who it applies to because like he said it was a 20 v1 now i ain't gonna say there's 20 people but clearly it was more than mano y mano it was more than one on one so we got that but let's get into it let's talk about them i did like um the language too aka circadian rhythm and super so um no face no case it was a cool song the verses was cool the chorus eh, didn't really fuck with it but anyways uh oh yeah by the way playboy cardi was doing the ad libs on the song i thought it was lil yachty the whole time i'm not gonna lie but anyways drake is back and he wasn't gone that long but still the toronto rapper surprised fans everywhere by dropping three new songs on his instagram burner account yo this nigga love doing that burner shit and the label gonna come out like we didn't clear this shit we didn't clear this shit and then it's somehow gonna end up on DSPs. This nigga really love doing that shit. But anyways, <clears throat> the rapper surprised uh, fans everywhere by dropping three new songs on his Instagram burner account. The songs include the unreleased collab with Playboy Cardi, No Face. Oh, it was No Face. And uh, Circadian Rhythm, the latter is billed as the sequel to the rapper's 2013 song, The Language, first of all. The, oh, that was my shit. The, the language. Oh, my God. I never understand. Never. Oh, well. Be ready to go. I don't know about you. Oh, my God. That, bro. That was a time, bro. Bro, that's the thing about Drake, bro. As much as you hate that nigga, bro. This nigga has some songs, bro. You remember what you was doing in that year, bro. You remember what you was, you had going on. You had some shit going on, bro. Good fuck. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, besides all that, I ain't trying to glaze the nigga like I'm DJ Academics. That nigga was on his live stream like, you know what I'm saying? He was doing too much. Again, don't get me wrong. I don't hate the songs, but sometimes act. Act don't help the case when niggas be like, yo, he be glazing that nigga. He really don't help himself with some of his reactions. But anyways. Uh, yeah, the latter is built to the sequels of the language. Uh, the biggest uh, revelation, though, is that Drake finally put out the CDQ version of the highly anticipated song Super Soak slash Goodness Gracious, SOD, whatever the fuck it's called. We know it was coming. We just didn't realize it was going to be this soon. And also, without Lil Yachty, I was kind of surprised by that. Me, personally, I would have kept Lil Yachty on the song. Because it's like, what did, it, like, bro, what did niggas, niggas didn't really say. See, that was my thing with the Mr. Hotshaw, Hotspot, whatever his name was. Because it's like, to be fair, niggas weren't really cussing on the original. Why were you so mad? I ain't gonna lie. I'm at both the leak version with Yachty and this CDQ, uh, CDQ quality version. I'm sorry. I'm at both. I can't be doing that. But anyways, hopefully later on, I'll be like Drake. I don't know. You can get Yachty to redo his verse or something and put that out. But anyways, Drake pre previously linked up with Playboy Cardi on Pain 1993. The vibe for No Face is a lot more angry and aggressive 
than uh, their first collab. Though it definitely sounds more like a Playboy Cardi song that just has a Drake feature tacked onto it. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing depends on how you feel about Cardi. So Arcadian Rhythm is going to get the least attention due to having no feature or no drama attached to it. That being said, it might just be the best song uh, of the batch. I wouldn't say that. I like Super Soak more. But Circadian Rhythm, I'm not mad at. Has a great groove to it and feels like most like a throw. Uh, mm, okay, if y'all say that, that it feels more like a throwback Drake, I'll take y'all word for it. I wouldn't say that. Uh, you'll be able to tell why he made it the sequel to the... Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. It might be my bias. Cause the language, bro, that was my shit. Anyways. Super Soak is the big story here. Though Kai Sinat originally previewed the song during a live stream, though Yachty was featured on the original version. Yachty then went on flagrant podcast and claimed that the song would never be released due to, the, due to the sample clearance issue. I talked about it, the whole religious thing. He didn't want them to cuss. He wanted a clean version. With that being said, I don't know why Yachty's not on the song, but apparently they came to an agreement. There's a somewhat, there is a clean version and hey, but whatever. <clears throat> Then Drake's people claim that uh, the song would be coming out officially, only Yachty wouldn't be featured on it. This is what we meant when we previously alluded to drama. Uh, the Drake and Yachty saga doesn't even get into Soulja. Man, Soulja Boy doing too much with this SOD thing. And uh, uh, Umbrage? I don't know what the fuck that song is. Or sorry, song. I don't know what that expression is. Basically, Soulja Boy was bad. He took uh, with Drake borrowing his super soap catchphrase, Drake and Soulja Boy are not going to mend their fences anytime soon. All that said, Super Soak is a hit. It got a wild, catchy instrument. <laughs> catchy instrumental. Drake, Drake just doing his shit on it. It also features a Drake flow that is bound to get uh, stuck in people's heads. There's been rumors that the rapper is already shooting a music video for the song. With, yeah, Academics confirmed this like a week ago. Um, which all but confirms that it's his next big single we've yet to be given information as to what happened between drake and yadi that said fans can bask in the fact that we finally have super so see i do feel part of this is the reason yadi was mad because man's were alluding that um drake, him and drake had some tension i don't know if they had some tension it could be some shit behind the scenes again some business shit that we are not privy to as people looking outside but hey they would hit but again, I'm not mad at the songs. Of course, no face people going to dissect that of who you was talking to. I feel like he was just giving smoke to everybody that was going against him. There's not really no names on bullets. Bullets could be for everybody. Hey, like we used to say back in the day, get out the way. Bullets ain't got no name. If it fits you, it apply. You're going to get hit. That's it. But with that being said, what do y'all personally feel about the three songs? Like I say, probably Super Soak, my favorite, then Circadian Rhythm, and then no uh no face then i hate the song just chorus was a eh. with that being said comments down below links in the description and we'll see exactly what happens besides this your friendly neighborhood k a sign off for today the black tj that while i doing this thing by name ring bells like quasimodo hit like subscribe we try a little bit more to hear me and i'm gone slime zoom peace out gang i